three, two, one. Greet. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cut. Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Works and welcome to my channel and today this video is pertaining to all owners of the Sony official 7.1 Pulse headset. Um, there are two versions in the marketplace right now, you have the Pulse and you also have the Pulse Elite. There's no great difference between the two but um, the Pulse Elite I think are more immediately compatible with laptops and computers and the like whereas with the Pulse I think you have to do a little bit more manual programming to make them compatible as it were but there's no great difference and another thing about these babies is that these are compatible with the forthcoming ps4 console so if you haven't had the chance please check them out see how they grab you see how they move you and um invest in one okay now with the pulse they have six original factory presets installed with the manager app now they have more presets that you can install into your Pulse headset. We're gonna go into that menu page in just a second. Okay, here we are now in the Pulse Manager app menu page and what we need to do before anything else is to actually update the headset. And in order to do that, you have to plug in your headset to the PS3. I don't mean just plug the Bluetooth and hope the Bluetooth signal will go through the headset. It's not gonna work. You have to plug it in directly to the console and that will enable you to update it and get the thing working. All right, so here we are. We have, um, strangely enough, we have game, techno, horror, shooter, fighting, racing. Whereas before, it would be um, game, music, and movie. But for some reason, I don't understand why it's made that shuffle. Okay, but I'm going to load up some more presettings. And as you can see, there are specific game presets are, that are available for the headset. You have Bioshock, The Last of Us, and the stonking Grand Theft Auto V, which incidentally has made a billion dollars within four days of its release. Absolutely freaking awesome. Um, okay, let's go into the description of Grand Theft Auto V. The sound mode enhances immersion by letting players use both sound and vibration to sense the impact of bullets, helping to locate incoming gunfire in hectic shootouts, as well as a vibration-based heartbeat to indicate low health and additional effects enhance explosion, crashes, and much more. Which is cool by me. I ain't gonna refuse that. Um, I've seen that there are um, Grand Theft Auto V commissioned Pulse headsets available in the market for I think around 130 pounds which if you have bought one you have been done you've wasted your money because these now retail between 79 to 99 pounds in Amazon and various other websites and if they're going to include the Grand Theft Auto 5 presets from the Pulse Manager app available for free in the PS Store then that's just basically saving me a whole lot of money if I'm looking for a headset like this. But um, I digress. But here we have all the settings that are available. The ones that are grayed out are obviously in the headset as we speak, and the ones that are illuminated are not. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into the presets, take out game, Take out techno, take out horror. So, uh, which one am I gonna put in? I'm gonna put in. Which one did I have in there before? Yeah, put movie in there, solid. Okay, right, so I'm gonna put in The Last of Us and Grand Theft Auto V. So here we go. Last of Us, and I'm gonna go into Grand Theft Auto. Now, you can also rearrange the order by clicking R1, L1 to move the game down the list or up the list if you want. Um, I'm gonna put The Last of Us down at the bottom. 
And then to come out of that, you just basically press the D-pad up and down. All right, so I'm gonna put GTA 5 at the top, Last of Us at the bottom. Okay, right, and update that. Do I wanna update the headset? Of course I do, I wouldn't be here doing a freaking video otherwise, would I? Okay, so here we go. And there you have it. So I'm gonna fast forward now because it takes a, a few minutes, but you get the idea, all right? Well, as you can see, it's reached 100%. And as you can see from the prompt, disconnect the headset now to complete the update, turn the headset power off and on. So I'm gonna disconnect it. Turn it off. Okay, I've turned it on. Right. And there you go. So the two presets that I've taken from the manager app Grand Theft Auto 5 and The Last of Us is now included in my standard presets in my headset and as you can see from the green icon right at the the base of the headset and the blue progress bar is that I'm all fine and dandy so there you go there it is the Pulse Manager app which is available in the PS Store for free it is going to be completely compatible with the PS4. So if you haven't got these babies, I'd advise you to check them out at the very least. You know, if you're a Turtle Beach fan, there's no converted yet. <laughs> but if you haven't got um, headsets and you really want to kind of get into the headset thing and immerse yourself in the gameplay, then check these babies out. My only thing is, is that I really hope that, um, that with the share function that it actually collects the audio data from the microphone and the chat and the gameplay but anyway i'm digressing it's all about the pulse manager app which is available in the ps store invest check it out see how it moves you all right anyway until such time i'm out of here catch you guys later happy gaming peace